Uh, no, here, here high, the same numerical here, some five volt EMF cell is introduced here. So let me define first 20 volt potential at this node, let it be X potential at this node be Y potential at this point, let it be zero. Then algebraic sum of current centering junction should be zero. So therefore X minus 20 by four, X minus zero by eight, X minus five, minus y by 5 ohm. So how, how we are writing this? How you write potential difference? Huh? Let's assume that one Vx minus 5 volt minus some current I into 5 ohm. I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll, I'll help you how, how we are writing that one. So what is the loop equation? Vx minus 5 volt minus 5 I3 minus Vy equal 0. So what is I3 is equal to Vx minus Vy minus phi well, by phi no. So Vx is what? X. This is a method of writing. See, X and Y are potentials. Instead of writing Vx, no, we are writing it as X. So how to, how to write, what is the, nothing but there's a KCL, no, what we applied, the algebraic function, so X minus 20 by four, current in this branch, <laughs> X minus zero by eight, current in this branch, you have to, because cell is there, no? So if you move from positive to negative tunnel, should be rising EMF, so fall in EMF. So minus five, we got it. VX minus five, mi minus of I T five, why, why negative sign? Because here current enters positive where it leaves negative. Look at the convention. If I move from I to lower potential, fall in drop minus five I three minus V Y equal to zero. Solving for I three, we'll get this this one. Similarly, let me write nodal equation for this. Y minus twenty by two, Y minus zero by six, Y plus five. Because I, I I'll move from negative to positive that one. So here the equation will be like this. Huh? Y plus phi I3 plus phi minus X equal to zero. So therefore Y minus X, what it should be equal to? So I3, no, the value of I3 is needed. So I3 is equal to X minus earlier we took I three like this no here it will be like current entering so therefore this will be <coughs> Y plus X minus Y if you rewrite this Yeah. So Y plus phi minus X by phi. Okay, what I got it. Uh, here, uh, there's a difference is there why? Because earlier we assume current like this. No, we, here we have to assume current in this direction. So a slight change will come. We have to assume that current flowing from here. So I have to change a little bit. It will be plus minus. Okay, now, now this will become minus phi I3 plus phi. Okay, now solve this. This will become I3 is equal to Y minus. Okay, now justified. So therefore, if you find very difficult, okay, you can straight away take help of writing equation here like this. So Y plus Y minus X all divided by five, Y minus zero by six, Y minus 20 by two. Solving X and Y will get the unknown things. <coughs> VX and VY. Once you know VX, Y, you can calculate the current in all the branches. This I'm showing the nodal analysis. 
this collocate nodes what are x and y they're collocate nodes 